September 2, 1923. Following the Kanto earthquake, fires continued to burn in the city of Tokyo. These fires caused a greater number of deaths than the earthquake itself and became known as the Great Tokyo Fire. 1945. Japan formally surrenders to the Allies, bringing an end to World War II. This is the day VJ Day is celebrated, or Victory in Japan Day. Also in 1945, Ho Chi Minh declares the independence of Vietnam from France. France forces seize southern Vietnam and open talks with Ho Chi Minh, but these talks collapsed in 1946, and French warships began bombarding the northern Vietnamese city of Haiphong. 1948, American school teacher Krista McAuliffe, who was chosen to be the first private citizen in space, was born. She and six other crew members died when the space shuttle Challenger exploded shortly after liftoff in 1986. 1954, President Eisenhower has signed into law the new Social Security Bill providing much wider coverage and it includes 10 million additional Americans with additional benefits. The cost will be financed by additional payments into the Social Security Fund by both employers and employees. 1969. The original Star Trek airs its final episode after running for only three years and never placing better than 52 in the ratings. But it did become a cult classic spawning movies and other series based on the original. Also in 1969, the first automatic teller machine in the United States is installed in Rockville Center, New York. 1973, English writer J.R.R. Tolkien, who is best known for his inventive fantasies The Hobbit, written in 1937, and The Lord of the Rings, written in 1954 and 55, dies at the age of 81. 2003, Harley Davidson is celebrating its 100th birthday. Thousands of Harley owners gathered in Milwaukee where the first Harley Davidson was made in 1903, 2011. Apple wins in court in Dusseldorf and the sale of the Samsung Galaxy Tab is banned in Germany. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, September the 2nd in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching.